an equal to this one then the radius of convergence of the power series this about x equal to 0 is we have many methods to find radius of convergence of the power series but which one method is good to solve this problem in AGS way as you can see n is involved in numerator and uh, here in denominator and this one and here and this an is the sum of two rationals an is sum of two rationals suppose first and second first is numerator of first rational is 1 plus minus 1 raised to the power n and numerator of second one is 1 plus minus 1 raised to the power n minus 1 and denominator is 2 raised to the power n and 3 raised to the power n when we have either mode or this type means sum and n is involved in our general format of the power series a and x raised to the power n is given then and about x equal to 0 then radius of convergence can be easily find limit and tends to infinity un or as a n raised to the power 1 upon n and this can be written as lim soap of a n raised to the power 1 upon n and this one because 1 upon r is here so limit n tends to infinity mod of u n plus 1 divided by u n and I took mod because if for any re real number suppose this power series is obtained alternating series so I took mod here so we can easily tell about the radius of convergence of positive term series sometimes radius of convergence is not give the exact idea about the convergence of the power series so we study or studied interval of convergence of power series somehow interval of convergence and radius of convergence is correlate and estimate estimate for convergence of the power series but interval of convergence is somehow precise way to say the convergence of power series because suppose if radius is 2 then we can't say about the boundary points is at boundary points the power series is convergent or not because for interior points this power series may be convergent but at boundary point may not be so if anyhow we can find the interval interval of convergence then it is best to say about the convergence of the power series so I'm going to solve this problem by this method or formula 1 upon r equal to limit superior of a n raised to the power 1 upon n and a n is 1 plus minus 1 raised to the power n divided by 2 raised to the power n and 1 plus minus 1 raised to the power n minus 1 divided by 3 n and when we break this a n for n as odd and n as even then for odd value this one will go to 0 so it will be 1 plus minus 1 raised to the power n minus 1 n minus 1 will will be even so even power divided by 3 raised to the power n and when n is even it will be 1 plus 1 divided by 2 raised to the power n this is a n so 1 upon r equal to 
Lemso of a n and a n is this one raised to the power 1 upon n. If I apply raised to the power n on this one or first uh, I solve a n because a n power is here so 1 plus 1 2 divided by 3 raised to the power n when n is odd and 2 upon 2 raised to the power n when n is even. This is n and apply raised to the power 1 upon n. So it will be 2 raised to the power 1 upon n divided by 3 as n odd and it will be 2 raised to the power 1 upon n divided by 2 as n even. This is a n raised to the power 1 upon n. And this one can be written as 1 plus 1 Now limit because I need limit superior. So limit superior of this one will be limit superior is infimum and infimum is largest upper bound. So largest lower bound. Lower bound. And in other terms you can say largest limit limiting value when n tends to infinity then this one will be 2 raised to the power 0 divided by 3 as n odd And it will be 2 raised to the power 0 divided by 2 as n even. And this one equal to 1 upon 3 as n odd and 1 upon 2 as n even. Now which one is largest limit? So largest limit is half or if you found largest lower bound that uh, 1 is also 1 upon 2 because 1 upon 3 is less than 1 upon 2. So value of 1 upon r is 1 upon 2 as this is the value of 1 upon 2 this implies r equal to 2. So radius of convergence of this power series is 2.